Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to address an annoying problem you guys might be having on your computer. Or basically, you're going to be having a red X over your network connection, so if you have a Wi-Fi connection. And this will apply for just about every newer version of the Windows operating system as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. So just left click on the start button one time. And now you want to type in CMD. One of the best managers on a program sh should say CMD right here. You want to right click on it. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash release. And you want to make sure it's exactly how it appears on my screen right here. And then once you're done typing that in, you want to hit enter. Once you're done doing that, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Again, exactly how it appears on my screen. And then proceed to hit on the enter key. Once you've done that, type in ipconfig again. So ipconfig space forward slash renew. Then you want to hit enter. Now that you've done that, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space I-N-T space I-P space set space DNS. So N-E-T-S-H int I-P set DNS. Then you want to hit enter. Again, everything should be working properly as you see in this video. If you're getting any errors, then you probably spelled it wrong. So then go back through and pause the video and look at the commands. And the last command we're going to run in here is going to be N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space Reset. And then you're going to hit Enter on your keyboard. Please know you are going to have to restart your computer for these changes to take effect. So I'd recommend closing out of any open programs or applications you have on your computer. And hopefully this should resolve your issue. If it does not resolve the issue after our computer boots back up from Restart, I'm going to be going through a couple more methods on how to hopefully resolve this issue if the first method did not work for you or did not fix your issue. Okay, so once your computer has restored, I would attempt to check and see if you have internet connection restored. If it has not been restored, I would now attempt to open up the star menu again. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Now you want to right click on regedit, and then left click on Rise Administrator. Now, if you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. Now you want to navigate over to H key local machine. So either double click on H key local machine or left click on little arrow immediately next to it. Once you've done that, you want to do the same thing for the system folder right here. And now you might want to make this bar a little wider. So I'm just going to drag it over a bit, as you can see. Now underneath system, I'm going to go underneath current control set, doing the same thing we did for the previous two. And now I'm going to go underneath control. And now I'm going to go down to network and just left click on it one time. So now on the right there should be something that says config up here. I'm going to right click on that and then left click on delete. It's going to say deleting certain registry entries can cause system instability. Left click on yes to confirm the change. 
I would recommend restarting your computer or device at this time and see if that resolved your issue. Now if that did not resolve your issue, I would next go and try and reset your router. So most routers you can either just unplug from the wall or there should be a button actually on the router itself like a spinning arrow, like an arrow in a circle. Basically it looks like a reset or refresh button, however you prefer to refer to it as. And just try holding that in for a few seconds and see if that resolves your issue and then come back to your computer of course and see if you have internet access once again. Now if that did not work for you, I would recommend at that point heading over to the star menu and typing in system restore. One of the best matches should say system restore underneath programs. Left click on that. And then this is just basically performing a classic system restore here. Going back to your most recently created restore point. Shouldn't really mess with any documents on your computer, but if you had any programs installed since the latest restore point creation date, they may be removed. And then you just would left click on next and restore your computer back to an earlier time. And I would suggest that there's really no harm in doing a system restore other than maybe spending about an hour just letting it run and do its thing. But I mean it's definitely worth it if you have other stuff to do at the time and you want to have internet access again without calling a technician. It could definitely be beneficial and you're really not losing too much through the system restore method as well, at least in my opinion. Unless for some reason you've installed a ton of programs you can't live without since that time and it will take you hours and hours to reinstall them. But for the most part, it's really never a big deal to do a system restore at the end. But I do hope one of the methods I went through in this video did resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.